Do you have problems to cope with factoring when some things or some exponents have, have a variable? You have problems to get how to apply the factoring formulas when you have exponents with variables? Hi, welcome to the show of A Minute with Factory. Today, we're going to see how to cope with this problem. So let's see the example. It says x to the 2n minus 36y to the 2n. So the first thing I think you have to do is to check how many terms we have to see what is the method you're going to apply. Here you can see that we have two terms, so we have to apply a special factoring formula. The special factoring formulas could be cubes, difference for sum of cubes, or squares, the difference of the squares. As we have a difference, we could have cubes or squares. However, we have here a 2, a 2, we have no idea about this 36, but maybe it could be a square, so we have a difference of the squares. So their goal, our goal, is to write the polynomial as a difference of squares. Notice that I'm not showing you like, oh my god, the yeah. M. No, my goal is to write it as a difference of the squares. Me move myself. Okay, as a difference of the squares a square minus b square. This is my goal. So I'm going to rewrite the expression trying to use difference of a square. Here it's very important that you know the properties of exponents. So if you don't know the properties of exponents, don't be stressed, don't get mad at somebody, just go to um, any page that shows you the properties of exponents and that's it, okay? Don't get mad about it, just find the properties of exponents. And you will see that when you have a multiplication in an exponent, it means that you can rise the power. I mean, I can write, instead of 2m, I can write um, this inside of a parenthesis and raised to the m power. Or I can write this as m and raised to the second power. Okay? And here we find on the square x to the m power to the second power. We have our first square. And the other square, 36, could be written as 6 to the second power. And y to the 2n power could be written using the same information with it as as y to the n power to the second power and again check properties of exponents if you have the same exponent second power you can write the different bases inside the parenthesis and a second power okay you don't understand this properties of exponents send me a comment telling me like oh I don't know the properties of exponents and I'm getting mad about it and I don't understand factoring for that and I will make you a video about the properties of exponents showing you each property now I have my difference of the squares I just have to apply the formula the formula states that a minus b times a plus b a would be x to the n power, so I just have to write x to the n power minus b to the b, that is 6y to the n power, 6y to the n power times x a plus b, x to the n power plus 6y to the nth power. And we, we've just transformed our polynomial 
in factored form. It's very easy to use variables as exponents, like m and n. You just have to notice that you have to apply the same things, like squares, cubes, anything you need. Don't get stressed about it. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoy it. If you want more information, just send me comments, like the video, or if you want to see other factoring cases, just check the other videos. Goodbye.